the shot properly. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't have a microphone on. I should. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm eating. I'm hungry. Um, today is the end of day two that I've been riding this bike. I actually got to ride it two days, months ago. Um, on a test ride. Liked it so much. Ordered one. Had to wait a while. Got it. Um, I've been riding it in rough desert. You know, stair-steppy, ledgy climbs, rough, pinch platty type descents. I've played with it anywhere from like the level four, level off, level one, two, three, and four. I didn't bother to try level five. Level four was so firm on the electric suspension. I didn't feel the need. I will say the bike just seems to lunge up and over stair-steppy climbs. Um, something that personally I've struggled a little bit in the past with uh, um, some of the more aggressive anti-squat uh, bikes. And uh, uh, they do a really good job of staying up and not letting your feet drop into things, but they also kind of hit stuff and don't maybe roll over them quite as easy when you're under power. You know, the, the torque of your yourself pedaling forward is what keeps the suspension up, but it also keeps the rear wheel from moving up and over the bump. I've been just blown away. I really, really, really like the bike. Uh, the bike I was on last year, I had great results on from a, from a different brand. No complaints at all. I'd race that bike again, but I just feel like this one has a little bit of an edge everywhere. Granted, it's a new bike. Uh, I'm pretty particular, but it is a new bike, and everybody gets that uh, kind of new bike euphoria. And uh, we'll see if I still feel that way a month or two from now when I get a bunch more rides on it. As far as some of the reviews that I've seen from some of the major uh, online players, uh, a lot of times I'm in line with them. Uh, I come from a, a DH background and that's kind of what they are about. The, the couple of the reviews I've seen that weren't so positive about uh, this particular bike, the Pivot, I guess I should have started with that, the Pivot Mach 4SL 2020 with the, the live valve suspension. I've been racing XC now for a few years. I put in tons of hours pedaling, training on bikes. I ride lots of rough, rugged terrain. It's what I enjoy. Uh, my longest event took me a little over nine hours. And uh, I also get in a bunch of like one hour cyclocross races and, and midweek XC and everything in between. Um, I think they're crazy. I, I, I just think that they're so used to riding 140 to 160 bikes with big, cushy, uh, heavy sidewall tires. The bikes that just do everything for you. And, and, and in addition to those aren't just descent bikes, those bikes do climb really well too. Um, there's a lot of times those bikes get up and over technical climbs better due to the ability of their suspension to move along and help you help you up and over that stuff. The difference is, is they don't do it anywhere near as fast and certainly not over a longer distance. Um, this bike uh, so far is a rocket. I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, I want to go back out for one more lap right now, but I've really <laughs> ridden as much as I should ride today. Today is my sixth day of pedaling in the last seven. I've only gotten two on this. There was a fat bike ride in there and there were some unfortunate trainer <laughs> rides. I got one more day down here. I'm going to save some energy for tomorrow. The sun is getting ready to go down. I've been here since 1030. It's now like 430. I've been enjoying the shit out of this bike. And the people that say otherwise, I, I, I my guess is they just don't do enough or any XC. Um, they don't put in the hours to train to hammer up hard, fast climbs. Not that I'm the fastest guy. You know, I certainly wouldn't be any threat in a pro field. But I do well locally in my Cat 1 age group. Um, and, and even at major races. Uh, the, the course I'm riding down here, True Grit, uh, I finished 5th before out of 90 or so. And I think last year there were 100 in my class and, and I finished 6th. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm not a, uh, a slouch, but I'm also definitely not a pro. But if you don't put the time in and you don't, you aren't used to pedaling hard and you don't have the fitness, you might not appreciate this bike if you're testing it 
on rough, rugged terrain. Um, if you do put those things in and you want to go faster in a whole loop, not just on small segments, then this bike is, is pretty damn amazing and, and you should definitely be considering it. I'll be following up. I've been rambling on too long already. I need to eat some more. Uh, I need to wash my poor van that's all covered in salt and uh, I need to go find some dinner. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.